Iraktor Kizilelma is an unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Baykar Technology since 2013. It made its first test flight on December 14, 2022. Let's first discuss where this idea came from, and then talk about what Bayraktar Kizilelma is capable of at this stage. The concept of the unmanned combat aerial system was originally conceived years ago. However, it became a much more serious topic after the success of the concept of using drones not as support elements but as the main elements, during the Spring Shield operation in 2020. This idea goes beyond the wingman concept and is about developing an unmanned autonomous combat aircraft that can do everything that the F-16 can do, and even more. Of course, this is a long-term goal. It is worth noting that the maximum force that a pilot wearing a G-suit can withstand is 9 GS. The autonomous aircraft concept provides us with a new horizon to redefine our boundary parameters. Open source researchers have mentioned that Kizilelma can withstand up to 12 GS. However, the ability to withstand maximum GS is more important for tasks such as aerial combat. For future goals, the autonomy feature comes into play. The 0.6 Mach version of Kizilelma is not expected to perform beyond the beyond visual range engagement or dogfight capabilities without being fully autonomous. On the other hand, the 1.35 Mach version of Kizilelma could perform significant tasks in BVR. If it can exceed 1 Mach at altitudes higher than 30,000 feet, combined with the AESA radar and Goptagon Gokan missile, it will provide you with the same, if not more, performance as the F-16 you are currently using. Another point that we need to address here is that conventional UAVs have very limited, almost non-existent maneuverability. One of Kizilelma's goals is to bring a new perspective to the industry in this regard. According to Baykar, the aircraft was designed to have a maximum takeoff weight of 6 tons for a 1.5-ton payload, a combat radius of 926 kilometers for a 5-hour endurance, and a cruising speed of Mach 0.6. It is described as highly maneuverable, stealthy, and capable of communicating beyond line of sight. Its Ukrainian-manufactured turbojet engine would accelerate it to Mach 1. For comparison, an MQ-9 Reaper has a payload capacity of 1,700 kg and can fly up to 1,900 km for 14 hours at full load. However, it only has a synthetic aperture radar, while MIUS will have an AESA radar. The Kizilelmo will cost only 30 million euros, which is comparable to the MQ-9 Reaper, which was announced to cost $32 million. The drone will be equipped with artificial intelligence, which will allow it to perform both air-to-ground and air-to-air -air combat missions, as well as autonomously carry out some of its tasks. According to Ukrainian sources, Ukraine will supply the AI-450 turboprop engine for the Akinsi UAV and the AI-25 TLT turbofan engine for the MUS. It is expected that Ukraine will export more than 500 engines worth over $600 million to Baykar over the 10-year period from 2021 to 2030. It should be noted that this information has not been confirmed by Baykar. Turkey and Ukraine established a new company called Black Sea Shield in August 2019. The company's shares are 51% owned by Baykar and 49% owned by Ukraine's SSB, Ukraspets Export. Black Sea Shield is expected to jointly produce Ukrainian-designed engines in Turkey. It was claimed that the intellectual property rights of the engines would also be owned by Turkey. According to Evchenko Progress, the AI-25TL turbofan engine can be used in training aircraft, light attack aircraft, and aircraft weighing up to 4,700 kg at takeoff. The AI-25TL is integrated into the Aero L-39 Albatros training aircraft and the Hongdu JL-8 light attack aircraft, among others. The AI-25TL has been produced in series since 1973. It is expected that Evchenko Progress will develop a special engine for Turkey called the AI-25TLT based on its AI-25TL engine. In the statement made by Selçuk Bayraktar, it was stated that the first prototypes will fly below the speed of sound, while the later prototypes will exceed the speed of sound. 
It does not seem very likely at this stage that the Ukrainian motor to be obtained will exceed the speed of sound. At this point, the patent for a turbofan engine called TF-6000, recently obtained by Turkish Aerospace Industries Inc. may come to the forefront. Experts evaluate that the engine has been developed for a UAV. In addition, it appears that MUS has been developed for use on the TCG Anadolu amphibious assault ship. Baykar aims to also land and take off the Bayraktar TB-3 in a similar way on TCG Anadolu. Bayraktar Kizilelmo will be a platform that will revolutionize the battlefield with its ability to land and take off on short runways, especially on short runway ships.